Even if it's a day late, happy birthday, Adrian Brody. Congratulations, man. You deserve it. Happy birthday, Adrian Brody. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. I'll be celebrating that every year. I don't know why. The Darjeeling Limited is directed by Wes Anderson and focuses on three brothers who haven't spoken to each other in a year since their father's funeral. They're going on a trip across India on the titular train, the Darjeeling Limited, in an attempt to bond with each other on what they hope to be a spiritual journey. Our main characters are Francis, played by Owen Wilson, Jack, played by Jason Schwartzman, and Peter, played by Adrian Brody. It's very obvious these brothers don't get along too well, as any brothers will, and these three performances really portray this relationship incredibly well. The chemistry that these characters had, especially in the first act, is just so compelling to watch. I found these characters really interesting to watch. And one of those reasons is because of how well these actors portray these characters. The script for this movie is written by Wes Anderson, Roman Coppola, and Jason Schwartzman. These three wrote a script with such compelling and realistic dialogue, perfectly capturing how brothers typically act. Is that my belt? Can I borrow it? These brothers will remark and scrutinize everything one of the others will do. They'll get very involved with each other's lives way too personally. They'll constantly keep secrets from each other. Little details like that really make these characters very realistic and make it seem like we're observing real people in real time rather than watching actors portray characters. I really want to talk about the ending of the movie and a certain scene towards the end involving a song by the Kinks called Strangers. But I can't because spoilers. But here's what I'll say. The ending uses metaphor really well and said scene towards the end is a really well done use of contrast. Is this a perfect movie? Mm, no. That's mainly because it feels like the movie blew its load a bit too early. Towards the end of the first act, the brothers actually leave the train, but the first act could have been stretched out to 90 minutes and the reason they leave the train could have been the climax of the movie. But they end the first act like this, and it kind of causes the movie to lose its steam. At times, the soundtrack could have been a bit more appropriate for the mood a scene would be going for. Specifically, the usage of a few Kinks songs. The songs used in this movie were This Time Tomorrow, Strangers, and Power Man. The use of This Time Tomorrow is used in the beginning of the movie when Adrian Brody is getting on the train. That's perfect in every way. Because the song's inspiration was the singer for the Kinks, Ray Davies, felt like he's lost contact with his family. That's a genius use of the song. On the other hand, Strangers kind of felt like it was used because it was a sad-sounding song, and that's it. Then, Power Man is used in such a heavily metaphorical scene, despite the fact it's about a greedy record label who cheated a musician out of his money. So it kind of seems that it's another time where the beat of the song is the reason they used it. I like these songs, don't get me wrong, I like them. But they don't seem to fit in with the context of the scene they're used in. There's this big reveal in the movie about why they actually are on the train trip, but once they get to this thing that they did the trip for, they cut that subplot almost instantly in possibly the most unsatisfying way possible. A lot of people will bring this movie down as one of Wes Anderson's worst movies because of how much it strays away from his usual style. And while I agree and I think it degrades from my original expectations of the movie, I can't really let that affect the grade that I'm going to give the Darjeeling Limited solely because I'm grading this as a film and a film alone. I'll give the Darjeeling Limited a B. Not my favorite Wes Anderson movie, but I don't hate it like other people do. I think the Darjeeling Limited is adequate, but nothing more. The first and best act of this movie feels very claustrophobic and tense. Two other movies that also utilize claustrophobia to build tension are Twelve Angry Men and Rear Window. Wes Anderson did two other movies that deal with tension in between a family, and that's Fantastic Mr. Fox 
and the Royal Tenenbaums. I can't recommend those two enough, especially since I reviewed the Royal Tenenbaums, I think in January, and I gave it an A+. This movie deals with the family dynamic very well. The Incredibles. That's all I'll say. If you like the Darjeeling Limited, check out The Incredibles. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I always appreciate it. Before you head out, how about you comment what your favorite Adrian Brody movie is? After you do that, you can head on out. Stay safe and watch good movies. Bye!